Okay. I thought I'll I'll show you my mechanism wheel project. I'm gonna make some wheels for uh, Robin, my in-move robot. And uh, to show you this, I'm gonna use uh, some cameras. Uh, this I'm talking, looking into right now, and I have this camera, and I also have a small camera over over here to um, take a closer look at the stack of Arduino boards and things. Uh, first I'm gonna show this um, mechanism wheel that I've been 3D printing with ball bearings and uh, and a lot of plastic in it. <laughs> Looks real nice. So this makes the uh, platform uh, go sideways uh, if you make it the right way and that's what I've been programming uh, trying to get to work and we see if it works but I want to show you what I've done so far. So I have uh, two joysticks to control it. I also have um, DC motors with gears from a uh, toy motorcycle, three-wheeled toy motorcycle for kids from three to five years old, maximum of 25 kilo or something. But I have four of those. Uh, they were spare parts you can buy separately. So that was nice. Connected to the uh, Arduino motor shield. And I'm going to show you on this one. The, the, there you have the um, Arduino Uno. And the first motor shield, which um, connects the two DC motors, two of them, and the other one who connects the other two. The way these uh, shields, motor shields, um, works is that it can take the power from a battery and um, drive the motors with. So this is plus and minus from the battery and um, there are two, two pins controlling the motors two pins from the Arduino one is controlling the direction of the motor and one is controlling the speed and you can choose the pins by these jumpers so if you are, you see on, on this one, it's uh, the jumper is on the first pins, selecting uh, that pin, and then uh, on the other one I put it on second, and there was also a third, which means that you can uh, stack one more on the top of this, so you can have three. Um, DC, so, sorry, three motor shields, six motors on one Arduino Uno, if you want to. Um, so that's it. I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, put that a little bigger. There we go. So forward. And backward on this one and then turning these ones go backward and those go forward and the other way around it's like a tank moving around 
But the nice thing about mechanome wheels is that they can move sideways. And that's when I move this joystick. You can see that that one is moving forward and this one backwards. They either moving towards each other or apart from each other, which forces the platform to move sideways. I'm moving the joystick now. And you can see how, how different the engines are going. And if I go forward and I want to turn, So, there we go, for the mechanical and hardware stuff. Let's get over to some uh, software. And um, I'm using a sketch. I'm going to explain for you. Uh, this is the way I did it. I'm sure there's a lot of ways to do this. But um, I got it working this way. I'm not educated uh, programmer. I'm uh, learning by doing. So um, I'm testing this and that, and, and uh, I learn from from it. So um, maybe you find out a, a better way to do this. I started to name the pins uh, here. You can see left rear pin. That's the left rear motor. Is the speed is connected to pin three, and I'm gonna name uh, these other ones as well, like uh, right rear and so on. But uh, wheel pin two has to do for now. So this is the the four pins that I'm using for the speed. And then I have the three sensors. And then I have the variables to, to store the values from the sensors. Uh, and um, from the joystick, I should say. And then I have uh, variables for the um, wheels. As well, in uh, void setup, I make pin mode uh, to output an output. Uh, that is the pin that sets the direction of the motor, uh, which way it should turn. And there are four pins of those. I throw in a serial begin so I can have the serial window here and check the values and in the void loop I have a sensor zero value is analog read sensor zero pin sensor pin zero sorry and um, since I need a value that's not over 255 for the motor shield, I remapped the value map sensor value 0 to 1023 to uh, 250 to minus 250. So I make a zero when the when the joystick is in the middle when it's standing like this it's a zero approximately a zero anyway and um, higher value the longer from um, from the center I'm gonna explain some more about that uh, Left front 
is the value I'm going to send to the left front motor and that is equal to sensor value sensor zero value minus sensor one value plus sensor two value and this plus and minus depends on which wheel it is because the wheels should react differently to what I'm doing with the joysticks so you see I have minus there but on the rear right front I have a plus so they are different and um, since the motor shield can't handle values over 255 or 250 I said I said it 250 I say uh, left front if that is more than higher than uh, 250 just set it down 250 and if it's lower than minus 250 set it at minus 250 and then the same for right front left rear right rear and different plus and minus depending on how it should react when I'm moving the joysticks then we go to if statements about um, writing to the to the pins if uh, left rear is um, lower than minus 20 digital right high on pin 2 which sets, sets the direction of the wheel and analog right to left rear pin minus left rear since we need a plus value for the motor shield I put a minus here because this is minus as it's lower than minus 20 then I to put minus there as well because two minus makes a plus minus a minus value makes it plus uh, else if left rear is higher than 10 digital uh, right low so it changes the direction of the motor and it sends the value from left rear to the left rear pin and you see I have a gap between uh, 10 and minus 20 so I said if it's um, lower than 10 but not lower than minus 20 then analog right to the pin a zero so it won't move at all it won't make a sound it won't try to move forward uh, with a low currents or something because it's totally quiet now and backward forward and then the same with uh, other wheels so that's it we're gonna take a look at it at, in the um, serial window here this is a value from the rear right moving forward and turning So, that's how I got it working, and um, um, I tried to put um, a link to the 
to the sketch to the program in the description. Hope this is of some help for you. Bye.